We gather people from across the country, our neighbors from east to west, and all the way to Nunavut. The Balana itself is a waterfront that carry people who are looking for a better life for themselves and for their families. These awards were founded by Ronnie Delagana and Jovito Jovi Favela as a way to bring people together and celebrate the significant contributions that our fellow Filipinos have made in the country that we call home. Using awards online Canada, nominations were submitted and judges have been selected to do the honorable but difficult task of judging their set of categories. Since judging is done online, our judges are from all over the world, as far as Kuwait. I myself was actually a judge this year for four categories and was completely unaware of my fellow judges, who they were, at least until this morning. As you may know, Winnipeg is the very first city that is hosting the Golden Balamai Awards outside of Toronto, and we are so thrilled to have all of you here. Winnipeg is celebrating 60 years since the first wave of Filipino immigrants to Manitoba, and our Tababayan are thriving outside of our capital city all across southern Manitoba. This year, the Manitoba Legislative Assembly unanimously passed Resolution 14, put forward by MLA John Reyes, which named June as Filipino Heritage Month for our province. For those of you who are first-timers in Winnipeg, some things that you should know. And Winnipeg, Filipinos are known not only for our amazing food, we have a lot of food trucks and restaurants if you haven't tried them out yet. But we're also known for our talent, but most importantly for our hospitality, our hard-working nature, and our ability to adjust and to adapt to our environment and situations. In fact, Filipino, or Tagalog more specifically, is actually the second most spoken language in Winnipeg other than English. Tonight, I want to congratulate all of our nominees. I read your profiles this week, and I am absolutely floored by the amount of talent, the sacrifices, the determination, and the achieve achievement that fills this theater tonight. I wish everyone an evening of connecting with each other, of celebrating our collective achievements, and an evening of inspiration from our nominees. Tonight, the Balamai symbolizes the journey of carrying ourselves and our people towards our goals of Filipinos in Canada. Maraming salamat po, and we'll see you later in the program. Agapis Services provide a great customer service insurance industry. They treat their clients like family instead of being treated only like customers. They go far and beyond to help everyone with all their insurance needs. Alvin Group Inc. Alvin Group Inc.'s investment in the community will bring the beloved Filipino food brand, Max's Restaurant, cuisine of the Philippines. After six years, the family-owned and locally-owned Max's Restaurant of Winnipeg opened for business on January 10, 2019. It created almost 70 jobs, of which more than 90% of the employees are Filipino Canadians. It has served close to 80,000 customers to date. The company has received recognition from each level of government. Mayor Brian Bowen, MLA John Reyes, MP Kevin Navarro. They have sponsored and partnered with local communities in Winnipeg through various organizations. Snow Frills, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Snowfur Snow Frills opened in April 2015 as one of the first two Snow Frills in Manitoba. Being the first Filipino immigrant to own a franchise in one of Longlaw's deep discount supermarket, Christopher San Juan took pride of his Filipino heritage and made a difference in the retail and food industry. Snowfur Snow Frills has a total of 65 employees and half are Filipino. Christopher helped conceptualize the Valley Buy and Box program the first program ever developed specifically for the Filipino value customers. Topher Snowfield is the first franchise across Canada to send Bali by a box by air as their way of giving back to the Filipino community. Kelly Legaspi, Winnipeg, Manitoba. The Winnipeg Grand Artist Academy, WSAA, is a martial arts school founded by Kelly Legaspi and husband Renatore Ignin in 2004. 
It promotes two Filipino martial arts, Sikaran, foot fighting, and Arnas, state fighting. The academy empowers youth while keeping them rooted in Filipino Asian culture through four pillars, honor, excellence, respect, and discipline. They showcase martial arts in various events, such as Folklorama, Asian Heritage, Manitoba Filipino Street Festival, and Dalakita. It is the first Filipino martial arts group from Manitoba to be invited for the Calgary Stampede Parade. Recently, three students were members of Team Canada and came home victorious from 2018 World Karate Championship in Dublin, Ireland, where they won two World Bronze Medals, one World Silver and ranked as fifth best fighter in the world. Nestor De Quiros, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Nestor De Quiros, together with his wife, Jackie, gives back to the community through sports by dedicating their time and finances. They are two of the four front runners of the B League Winnipeg. They have recently started a Hoops for Hope sports event to raise funds for two children needing medical help in the Philippines. Nestor is currently the commissioner of B League Winnipeg. B League is getting bigger and is now on its fourth season. Sulek Kamai Drive is really Winnipeg's brainchild, which will be sending donations to the world. And the Excellence Award in Sports and Fitness goes to Kelvin Gaspie. 